Alright, this is my first Roblox tutorial on this channel and we're going to be going over how to add developer products into your game. It's fairly simple, fairly easy, and I guess you can make some Roblox in your game now. So there's two ways we'll be going over on how to do this. Uh, one is from a button on your GUI and one is from a proximity prompt, which can be added onto practically anything. In this example, I have it over the item I'm going to add to the player's inventory if they buy the developer product. So let's take a look of how it looks like with the proximity prompt. So I'm going to hold E. This little menu is going to pop up and I'm going to press the buy button. And just for context, if you're testing out the developer products, um, in Roblox Studio, they do not cost any Roblox, so nothing will be charged from your account. And then for the button, I'm just going to click on the button, and the same menu is going to pop up. You can see I got two spears. That's not supposed to happen, but yeah. Okay, so let's go over how to add this in your game. So the first step is we're going to go over how to add the proximity prompt. Um, if you don't want to see this part, if you just want the button, then you can skip ahead. But the first thing we're going to do is add a proximity prompt to, I guess, whatever you want the proximity prompt to be a child of. In my case, I added it to this little pedestal I created. and. If you don't know how to do that, you can just click the plus button on anything in the workspace and then type in proximity prompt. Uh, I'm not going to go and talk about the settings of the proximity prompt, but if you want to change anything, it's right there for you. Uh, we're going to add a normal script to the proximity prompt and I'll add this code in the description but just make sure you change the product ID and we'll go over how to create a developer product in just a second okay so as you can see we're on this URL called create.roblox.com slash dashboard slash creations so make sure you head there don't mind all this other stuff um, so all you're gonna do is click on the on the game you want to add the developer products to so you just click anywhere on that picture and we're gonna go to developer products which is under monetization and then you're gonna go ahead and click create a developer product so if you want to you can add an image you have to add a name um, and you can add a description if you want and then you can also add a price so after you do that it will take like it will say like some verification thing that's not really important all you're gonna do is you can either click these three dots press copy asset ID or if you go to the second set of numbers in the URL when you're changing the basic settings you can copy that too or if you want you can just copy the number below the name whatever way works okay so now we're gonna go back to Roblox studio and make sure you change the product ID okay so we got that to look and that's basically half Half the setup. The next part is we're gonna have to add a script into service script service. So same thing, click the plus button and then click script. And yeah, I know this is a lot, but I'll have the code in the description. So basically, if you ever see a set of numbers, 
make sure you change it. Um, so yeah, just paste in your product ID thing again right here. And make sure you have, if let's say, for example, you want to give the player a weapon. Like in my game, I'm going to do that too. So in uh, server storage, I believe, let me take a check. Yeah, server storage. I created a weapons folder and I pasted a copy of the spear, the item I'm going to give to the players in this folder. So this is important so we can actually give the item to the player that they just bought. Um, so yeah, I created a variable to that weapons folder. And as you see, there's two examples. One example is for giving the character a weapon or an item, a tool. And all we're going to do is we're going to get a variable called backpack, which is the Roblox default backpack. And we're just going to check if it exists. And if it does, we're going to clone the spear in our server storage or whatever weapon you chose. And then we're going to set the parent of that new weapon to the backpack. Um, so you can also see over here, let me just toggle call. There's another example. This would be for like something like adding gold. If you can buy gold in your game or Robux, just make sure you replace the product ID with a corresponding product ID. So if you have a developer product for buying gold specifically, then you would use it in this scenario. Um, but yeah, that's, those are two examples of what you can do. So that's how you do the proximity prompt. We're going to use the same server script for the button, the GUI button. Um, and just a heads up, this process receipt thing is basically just uh, there to make sure the person, like the person, actually purchased an item, so they won't get an item as long as they actually purchase it. Or sorry, they will get an item as long as they purchase it, and not the other way around. All right, let's take a look about the button. So to begin with, we're going to add a screen GUI to our starter GUI. Click the, you can click this button at the top or just press the plus and screen GUI. I just added a normal button. Um, you can do whatever you want with it, you can make it all fancy if you want. But for my case, I'm just going to create a text button. image button to any button works or if you have any way of detecting player input also works so we're gonna create a, a local script under this button and same thing product ID make sure that's there everything is basically the same except the dot mouse button one click and I guess the button that's different and I guess this variable too but yeah it's basically the same exact code just make sure you change the product ID and if you skipped through the video just I recommend you take a little look behind uh, previously so you know how to add developer products to your game and just another reminder, make sure you change the product ID. So, once again, let's just go over what we created. So, we press interact, we buy the item, a spear will be added to our inventory. And for your case, it'll be whatever weapon you wish. And again, if you're testing this in Roblox Studio, 
you won't be deducted any Robux, so don't worry. You can see over here, it says, this is a test purchase, your account will not be charged. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and maybe I'll make some more Roblox content soon. Thanks.